Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and I'm going to teach you something amazing. Now, a while back ago I made a sushi roll called the Royale Sushi Roll, which was basically a salmon and tuna blanket which was knit together by hand and then placed on top of sushi roll. And it was very complicated to make, very tedious and time consuming, but an amazing concept. So, we're going to take that same idea, but make it better, faster and just easier to create. So here's how, let's get cooking. Okay, so we start off by taking a just fresh, great piece of salmon like this. And then you just want to cover it with a nice amount of salt evenly across the entire fillet. So here I'm just going to put some in front of the board just so I can roll this piece of salmon into the salt. Okay, just like this, just roll it in and cover the fish nicely across the entire piece. Okay, so once that's done, you place it inside a piece of tupperware or something to keep it in the fridge and then just leave it in there for one hour. Okay, so after one hour in the salt, you rinse off the salt with some water and then what you're left over with is a different texture of salmon with much more intense flavors. And then you're just gonna take some vinegar, which I've infused over time with kombu, at least one day. And what happens is this gives all the flavors of the seaweed into the vinegar and the natural MSG. So, just gonna pour some of this out, and then you wanna mix it with about at least 50% ice cold water. Okay, so that should be about 50%. Just eyeball it, no need to measure it out and then just place your cured fillet of salmon inside the marinade. Now you wanna leave it in there for just about half an hour, no more. And after that, it should look like this. Now it looks a little bit cooked on the outside, don't worry about that, this is completely normal. On the inside it's still nice, vibrant orange color, just like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just take my knife and start cutting it in rectangular bits evenly and what you want to end up with is a rectangle with a square at the end, but you can't get that out of this, otherwise it's going to be too fat. So I'm just going to cut it first into rectangular rectangle pieces and then cut those again. That'll make sense in a bit. Okay, if you want a very sharp knife just like this one, you can check out my brand new website which sells knives across Europe by clicking on the link on the top left corner of your screen right now. Okay, so that's enough of a plug. And now just, I'm gonna cut these rectangular rectangles into square rectangles. So just so that the end of this piece of salmon is a square. There we go. And you just wanna take your time, make sure they're exactly the same size because if they're not the same size, it's gonna be very difficult to glue these together with the tuna pieces later. So just take your time with this, cut them all the same size and then just put them to one size until you need them. Okay, so now I just wipe my board down a little bit, go to be hygienic. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring over a beautiful piece of sushi grade tuna. Look at this marvelous piece right here. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this. One second, just clean the knife again. I'm gonna cut this in the same way as the salmon before, and they have to be exactly the same dimensions and size, otherwise this will just not work and take your time to really cut these smoothly in a single swooping motion like this. You don't want to saw through it. You want to have very crisp, clean cuts because if they're not clean, it's going to affect the way the glue acts to fuse these together. So just take your time and create them exactly perfect. God, look at that tuna, that's amazing. Okay, so again, I'm just going to cut these rectangular rectangles into square rectangles. I'm talking about the end piece of the rectangle when I talk about the square part. So here again, just keep cutting. Make sure they're exactly the same size. Okay, nearly done. There we go. Perfect. I just set these to one side with the salmon until you need it, which will be right now. Here I've got four pieces of tuna and four pieces of salmon, and this is what I call Activa RM. I ordered this online, and it comes from America, and they ship worldwide. If you guys want more information about it, check out the link on the top left corner of your screen right now. Basically, it's called transglutamase, or 
meat glue is the slang word for it. And you're just gonna need a little bit of it, just add about one tablespoon or two tablespoons into a bowl. And you're just gonna to wanna to set this aside. Keep this stuff in the fridge and at a nice low temperature and away from any humidity. Now, I'm just gonna pour a spoon or two into a sieve and this will make it easier to get a nice even layer across the fish layer. Here we go. You're gonna need a piece of cling film. Just place it on the cutting board like this. And then you're gonna to start to layer the salmon and tuna one after the other. Just the four pieces, two of each. And you wanna lay them right next to each other. Just like this. Okay. Once you've layered them, then you take your Activa RM and you want to sprinkle over a very, very, very thin layer of the glue. You want, don't want to put any more glue on than you need. So just tap your sieve on the side and it should let out a very small amount every time and just cover it nice and evenly, only one side of the fish. And then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them over. Okay. There we go. And what I'm doing here is I'm thinking about where the glue is and I'm trying to make sure that I don't use any more glue than necessary and you want to have all the inner parts of the brick of fish that are in contact with other fish to have glue on them and nothing else. So here I'm just going to pour some more onto it. You want to have a very thin evenly distributed amount of the Activa RM over it. And now I'm just going to prep my second batch of fish, which goes on top of that. So here again, a very soft dusting of it over it, making sure to not add more than I need. Okay, perfect. Now you're going to want to place these on top of your other fish pieces, making sure that there's only the glue on the inside. So face the pieces of fish in a way that they only have glue on the inside. Okay, there we go. And once you've got your brick assembled like this, you just wrap it in cling film and you want to tighten it to make sure that all the pieces of fish are in contact with all the other pieces of fish. And then just roll it. Don't press too hard at this stage, it's completely not necessary. And then just cut off the side so that when you put it into the vacuum bag, the air can be sucked out from in between the pieces of fish. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fish brick and we're gonna put it inside a vacuum bag. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna suck out all the air from inside the brick of fish. And then the pressure from the outer atmosphere is actually gonna squish together the fish so that all the surfaces with glue on them are in complete full contact with fish so that they can glue properly. There we go. And once it's done, it will finish. And then you just basically put this inside the fridge for four to 24 hours, no more than 24 hours and no less than four hours. And then what you wanna do is put it in the freezer and make it sushi grade fish. If you don't know how to do that, click on the link on the top left corner of your screen or to go to my website where I'll explain that. Okay, so this is the fish after it's been thawed from the freezing process. And now I'm just gonna take it out of the wrapping. So I just simply find the end of the cling film. Okay, it's, that seems to be a bit more difficult task than uh, I thought it would be. Any moment now. Okay, screw it, I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, so you cut it open. <laughs> And then you pull it out. <laughs> oh god. Uh, just like this. And once you've done that, then you want to take your knife and just slice it into sashimi slices. Half centimeter to one centimeter thick slices. And you do this with an extremely sharp knife. And you start at the heel of the knife and drag it all the way through in one swooping motion to the tip of the blade. And then you just repeat the process over and over and over again. Now, if you don't have a knife that's sharp enough, then you can check out my store, which is in the link below in the description or the link I offered before. 
Okay, so just I'm gonna slice the entire brick since I've got an entire brick of it. So I'm just gonna keep going. I don't actually need the entire thing. Maybe about half is all I need, really. Okay. And there we go. Now you can see this glue has really worked for marbles. It's really quite strong and it's just like a normal piece of fish. You wouldn't know that it's being glued together, except for that you can see it. But anyway. Um, okay, so now we take half a sheet of nori and place it on a cutting board. Wet your hand so that the rice doesn't stick to it that much. And then you place 120 grams of cooked and seasoned sushi rice over your nori and just spread it out nice and thinly and softly and try not to squish it down. Now, if you don't know how to cook sushi rice, you can check out my recipe, which is in the top left corner of your screen right now. Now you take a bamboo rolling mat inside a plastic bag and just flip this over onto it, just like this. Now you want to take some julienne cucumber. This is just very thinly sliced cucumber, which I'm just going to spread across the middle. Not too much, because otherwise you might not be able to close it. And now I'm just going to wet my hands a little bit so it doesn't stick too much. And just roll it over and close it. You want to close it before it reaches the end and then just roll it over one more time. Okay, and then just one more time just to be safe. And there you go, this is a sushi roll, that simple. Okay, so there we go, that's the sushi roll, done. And now you just want to top it with your salmon and tuna sashimi slices. So just take one at a time, place them on it nice and carefully, making sure not to rip them or anything like that. I think just about two more. There we go, nearly done. There we go. Now you place a piece of cling film over this. This is just so you can fix the salmon and tuna sashimi slices onto the sushi roll. And you do this with a bamboo rolling mat. Just place it on top and then just press softly but firmly to fix them on. Now you take your knife and just dip in some water so that the rice doesn't stick to it as much. And then just wipe it off on a cloth. Now I'm gonna cut in between the tuna and salmon sashimi slices as to not to break them. So since there's six pieces on top of this, I'm gonna end up with six pieces of sushi. So I just slice through. Just gonna cut the end piece off there. Okay. And now I'm just gonna firm it up with the bamboo sushi rolling mat. Again, there we go. And then just move this to one side. There we go and just take a nice presentation plate. Now you can get the same plate on my website by clicking on top left corner of your screen right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna place two pieces of sushi just to show you guys how it's done. Look at that, they're just amazing. I mean, that's just fascinating. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little blob of kelpie mayonnaise on top. You can find a recipe for that in the link on top left corner of your screen right now. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a little piece of chive just on top of each sushi roll. And voila. There we go. That's the Royale Sushi Roll Evolution done. So there we go. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please try and make this at home and maybe share the pictures on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And I'd love to see them. Anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you should do so right now by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. And you can check out all my other videos by clicking on the right right now. Also, uh, I want to ask you guys a little favor. Uh, I want some ideas for new creations. So I'm sure you guys must have some ideas or some ideas of great flavor combinations to add with sushi rolls or maybe a concept of how to roll sushi in a new way or something, just something amazing. So if you have any ideas, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to read them and check them out. And if there's something amazing, I'll make it and then I'll quote you guys and give the credit to whoever you know gave me the idea. Okay, so that's all. See you guys next time. Bye.